Hi my baby Aquarius, you're looking scrumptious, juicy and sparkly and moisturized today, boo boo. Uh, today we're going to take a look at you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Uh, please show me your roles, what's happening for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and their little boo boo, the suspect. <laughs> Oh, six of cups. Somebody's missing you. Your douche flu, douche flu. Tell us anyone in between is missing you so badly. You know what? They're licking their wounds. So we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation in the U versus them readings. This person's trying to lick their wounds. They're trying to not think about it. They're trying to lick their wounds. They feel very hurt by this whole situation, Aquarius. They feel very, very hurt. You could be dealing with... Uh, um, some kind of a fiery energy. Also, baby, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. All right, baby. Let's see. Please show me your holes. What's happening here? Hmm. Oh, Aquarius. I think you ghosted this person. Look, these energies can't switch, all right? So if you're a cross-watcher, this can't switch for you. Oh, by the way, Aquarius, I got like, I got like a comment on one of the videos today saying, oh, you know, like stop abusing the cross-watchers. Babies, like these energies are switched. So if, if you're a cross-watcher, like, and I'm calling you a douche flu, just assume that you're in the position of the, the sign that I'm reading for. <laughs> Sorry, I always forget to say that, but yeah, cross-watcher is welcome. But yeah, just assume it's like the other way around. But I do feel like you you dump, either dumped them or ghosted them. You're like, talk to the hand, all right? Because that's the Aquarius way. Aquarius is going to like switch up on you if you don't respect them. This person came at you. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you uh, met on a Tuesday, this person uh, was, if it was new, a new connection, this person came at you all sexual, sexual. But they were pushy. They were very pushy, pushy and sexual. <laughs> um... And they like promised you the earth, like they promised you the earth and the sun and the stars and the skies and the little fishies in the seas and everything. And they're like, yeah, pushy, pushy. <laughs> I'm pushy, pushy. I'm gonna give you everything, Aquarius. Anything you ever wanted. You want, you want a diamond? You have it. You want a diamond encrusted tiara? You have it. You want an alien spaceship? You have it. By the way, aliens back. We broke up. Now we're back together. <laughs> I missed him. Um. <laughs> felt like he was light years away. Okay, whatever. Uh, that was the rift and separation between us. And you were like, no, that's it. Like, you're like, you were like, I smell a rat. This person is not serious. And they showed you that they weren't serious. You know, that could have been like one of those things where, you know, this person kept like being pushy, pushy, pushy. And when they did the pushy in the bedroom, they were like, bye, see ya, don't want to be ya. And you were like, okay, no, bye, 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 bye for good. If it was someone who was in a more established connection with you, this is someone who was constantly giving you strife, giving you drama, giving you trouble, pushing themselves uh, again onto you or in your face. They like to get an argument. And in the end, you were like, I can't take this anymore. This person could have a substance abuse problem, my baby, uh, if you're, whether you're aware of it or not. Um, and they also, they also wanted to like, have you fulfilled them in some way you know they didn't feel fulfilled they felt like maybe unhappy in their own life and you wanted to fulfill their ego and just like be the yes person for them that's never going to work with an Aquarius so you know they feel like mm, they feel like they couldn't you know drain you emotionally so now they're crying they could be drinking too oh my boo -boo. uh they do see with someone who won this battle they do see with the victor here the knight of wands uh uh, you want an argument. You want something here, you know. You got the upper hand. They obviously still see you as very... They just think you're so sexy, baby. They think you're gorgeous. The uh, Ten of Pentacles here. This person intends to have something more stable established again with you. This is their intentions, their hope. Uh, th you know, this is what they think might happen if the wind, if the wind blows in the right direction. Uh, the moon at the bottom of the deck. So, and we're still, you know, we just had a full moon, but we're still in the energy of the full moon. Uh, the full moon is really, oh, the full moon is so beautiful today. Um, and Jeb, it was beautiful. I just like, um, I was on the balcony looking, gazing at the full moon and stuff. But my lighting setup is such that I can't really film like there. It's like a tiny space. And, and the bed's in the way. This bed is gigantic, by the way. I was just like, you know, made, <laughs> it's made for love tarot. 
um, only faints, only flames. Uh, the moon, <laughs> Aquarius, why, why, why was I born this way? The moon is telling me that this person like sees you in their dreams. Maybe they can't, maybe they have a ginormous bed, but they can't sleep because they think about you. Obsessively thinking about you, they are going to return. This person is returning with an apology in the next seven, six, sorry, six hours, six days, six weeks. This person is returning with an apology. Let's get a little oracle, uh, oracle advice for you here, baby. So it's up to you if you want to take this back, a person back or not. It's all about free will on this channel, baby. Also take everything I say with a grain of salt because uh, I just say random bimbo on the internet. You know how it goes. Uh, whatever feels right to you. Let's see what the advice is for up. Oh. Perseverance and triple spiral. The goddess is here, you know, the goddess is the moon uh, and perseverance. I think this person, you know, just how this person is, has something about the persistence to them. So, you know, uh, their whole like keyword, their brand is like they're super per persistent and they will uh, remain super per persistent. The, the motivation is going to continue. Maybe you're afraid that if you let this person back into your life, they're going to do that, uh, you know, a situation with you where, you know, they're going to try for a little bit. They're going to try. They're going to be doing, you know, the right things and they're going to be like, oh, well, now now I don't have to try anymore. They're going to go back to their old ways. They won't um, because this time the goddess is here. This time it's a triple spiral. Spiral, you know. Uh, this time, uh, this time they're coming back uh, in almost the rule of three. You know, coming back like three times improved. What does this say? Listening to divine wisdom and joy, uh, joyfully learning life's lessons. Yeah, this is a lesson. This person had to learn a lesson, my baby, Aquarius. This person had to learn uh, a lesson this lesson and they have but you know if you want them or not that's uh that's another thing you got to follow your heart baby i feel like you already know what you want to do with this person there is like definitely a soul connection here uh I, i'm not gonna lie doesn't mean it's your only soul connection but the moon is a very powerful card uh so this is what i have uh, for you today my baby aquarius you know your mommy's favorites oh my gosh <laughs> i got i got into so much trouble when i said um in the live uh, at New Year's Eve, I think they said Aquarius is my favorite. I get in so much trouble, but I don't care because you are my favorite. He's an Aquarius. No, he's not. I I don't know what he is actually. You tell me in the comments below what do you think the alien is? What star sign based on his you know personality? He could be in a, he's like a mysterious Aquarius. All right, anyways, <laughs> boo -boo. Um, This is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if the reading resonated for you. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button. And of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. Also, Aquarius, help your mommy out because I got a new channel. I'm vlogging my life, all right? My adventures with him, my adventures with Atlantis, my travels, my magic. I'm posting magic magic spells that anyone can do with sorcery for everyone no ingredients no special knowledge you can just do that practice yourself i'm posting about the ghosts that i'm meeting here paranormal experiences uh even um evil some evil entities um you know whatever whatever floats your boat so subscribe uh, if you want to to that my other channel. It's going to be in the pinned comment uh, and you can vibe with your mommy there. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh yes, if you'd like to purchase a reading with me or a magical service or coaching, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparky, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. <laughs>